parachute games. It is a lovely sunny day at Playgroup. Pepper and her friends are hard at work painting pictures. I'm painting a tree with all the leaves. I'm painting a rainbow with all the colours. What wonderful paintings, children! You have worked hard, so now it's time for play. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Look what I have. It's a rainbow parachute. And we are going to play games with it. Ooh. First, I want the little ones to hold the parachute edge. George, Richard, Edmund, Zuzu and Zaza are holding onto the parachute. And give it a wiggle like this. Wiggle, wiggle. Look at the way the parachute moves. It is like the sea. Imagine a little boat sailing on that sea. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. I will put this little toy boat on our sea. The boat, the boat bobs, bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. A bobby bobby bobbing, bobbing around. The boat bobs up and down. And the little boat sails away. Say bye-bye to the boat. Bye-bye. OK, now it is the turn of the big children. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are holding the parachute. Imagine a flying saucer. I'm a flying saucer. I spin through space. Together, we are going to turn this parachute into a flying saucer. On the count of three, we lift the parachute up and then let go. Are you ready? Yes, Madame Gazelle. One, two, three, and lift. Up, up, up. And let go. Wow! The parachute looks like a flying saucer. I'm a flying saucer. I spin through space. I spin and I spin and I spin all day. I spin and I spin and I spin, and I spin all day. explanation, I could set aside time to go through it later. Yes, thank you, Edmund. Edmund Elephant is very, very clever. <laughs> now everyone hold the parachute. <laughs> All of the children are holding the parachute. Imagine a cooking pot with corn popping. I will use ping pong balls for the corn. What happens now? Well, now the pot gets hotter and the corn is ready to pop! Pop, pop, pop! Pop, pop, pop! Pop, 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 pop! 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 Pop, pop! It is home time and the parents have come to collect the children. Wow! You're playing parachute games! Oh, I loved playing parachute games when I was little. My favourite was the rainbow game. Well, we could all play the rainbow game. Yes, please! <laughs> Everyone is holding the parachute. Lift the parachute up, up, up. Now step in and pull down. Everyone is inside the rainbow parachute. Oh, it's just like we are inside a rainbow. It's brilliant. I wonder how it stays up like this. I'm very glad you asked. In simple terms, it's a rainy sunny day. The rainbow's here today. Rainbow, rainbow. Red and orange and yellow and green and purple and blue. Rainbow, rainbow. It's a rainy sunny day. It's the best rainbow ever. Pepper loves parachute games. Everybody loves parachute games. Ooh, trampolines! Pepper and her friends have come to the trampoline park. I've never bounced on a trampoline. I bounce lots. It's the best thing ever. <laughs> Welcome to the trampoline park. Miss Rabbit is in charge. When you bounce, you must bounce safely. Yes, yes Mrs. Rabbit. Rabbit! First, take your shoes off. 
<laughs> Only one person on each trampoline at a time. Always bounce in the middle. And no clever tricks, just bouncing. It looks fun. Yes, really fun. I might even have a go myself. Happy trampolining, everyone! <laughs> Trampolines are for little children. These are the trampolines for big children like us. Now we can do really big bounces. Pepper and Rebecca are doing big bounces. <laughs> I love bouncing. <laughs> I am bouncing higher than the star. Me too. And me. <laughs> bounce, 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 bouncing up so high. I think I'll have a go. <laughs> Look, Peppa, your daddy is on a trampoline. <laughs> Are you sure that's a good idea, Daddy Pig? I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I want to go too. <laughs> and me. Grown-ups <laughs> are bouncing on the trampolines. Bounce, 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 bouncing up so high. Bounce, 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 bouncing in the sky. Mummy Pig is bouncing really high. Bouncing up so high. Not too high, Mummy Pig. Bouncing in the sky. Mummy Pig has landed on top of a tree. Oh, how do I get down? Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We'll rescue you. Uh, we'll call Miss Rabbit's rescue service. Hello, trampoline park. Oh, the emergency telephone. Hello, rescue service. Mummy Pig is stuck in a tree. I'll be right there. Miss Rabbit to the rescue! My goodness, this is embarrassing. Yes, it's the sort of thing that normally happens to me. Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We'll have you down in no time. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Hmm. I can't land on the tree. I know. I've got a really good idea. Oh, where's she going? Yay! She's bouncing back into the sky. Here I come. Whee! Wow! This is unbelievable. Yes, it is one of my more amazing rescues. What happens next? Who knows? That was lucky. I forgot the helicopter was here. Hooray! Thank you for rescuing me, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. Next time, don't bounce quite so high. Yes, Mummy. If you bounce on trampolines, you must bounce safely. Thank you, Peppa. I'll remember that in future. <laughs> Peppa loves trampolines. Everyone loves trampolines. Skateboarding. Today, Peppa, George, Mummy and Daddy Pig are at the park. Peppa has her scooter. <laughs> George has his tricycle. <laughs> Mummy Pig has her bicycle. And Daddy Pig has his skateboard. <laughs> Have a go on your skateboard. Skateboarding is quite difficult, even for a grown-up like me. Yes, you don't have anything to hold on to. Please, can I have a go? Well, maybe Daddy could give you a lesson. Yes, I think you're just old enough to learn. Yippee! It's best to start off slowly, like this. Daddy Pig is good at skateboarding. Now it's your turn, Peppa. 
put one foot on the board and push with the other. <laughs> well done, Pepper. And now try it with both feet on the board. Look at me! Whoa! Well done! <laughs> I can skateboard! It is Belinda Bear and Simon Squirrel. They are big children. Hey, Peppa! Yo! Hello! Is that your skateboard? It's my daddy's. Can you skate on it? Yes! My daddy taught me. He's the best skateboarder in the world. Well, I suppose I am a bit of an expert at it. Really? So, what do you make of these ramps? <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow! Amazing! Simon and Belinda are very good at skateboarding. Peppa, would you like to try? Yes, but I can't skate like you. Hmm, but only because we're older than you. Yes, we're almost grown-ups. I'm nearly ten. Wow! Maybe you big children could give Peppa a lesson. Yes, please. OK, we'll teach you. As long as you keep it slow and safe. Of course, we'll keep it real cool. Let's go down this little ramp. I'm here to catch you, Pepper. OK, Daddy. I'm here to catch you too. <laughs> George is helping as well. <laughs> now, Pepper, put both feet on the board. Yes, I've done that before. And we'll give you a little push. Um, it looks high. I'll take you a bit lower. Ready now? It's still quite high. How about here? OK. Wow! I did it! I did it! Well done, Pepper. Yes, you did brilliantly. <laughs> I'm going to do it again. Watch this. <laughs> Oof! Are you all right? Yes, I think so. She's fine. When you're learning to skateboard, there's lots of falling off. Yes, that's why helmets are ace. Wow, that's so good. Can you do that, Daddy? Um, I expect I could if I wanted to. Please show us, Mr Pig. Oh, all right. Um, Daddy Pig, are you sure this is a good idea? Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Right, have you ever been on a ramp before? Not as such. Wow, he's gone to the highest ramp. Oh, hadn't realised quite how high this was. <laughs> Maybe I'll... Wow, look at him go! My goodness! That was awesome! Unbelievable! My daddy is the best at skateboarding because he is very old. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> daddy Pig loves skateboarding. Everyone loves skateboarding. Roller disco! Peppa and her friends are going to a roller disco. <laughs> I love roller discos. Bye, Me too. <laughs> Madame Gazelle is in charge. Keep going round and round in a circle, children. <laughs> Pepper and George have their roller skates on. Would you like me to walk around with you both, holding your hands? No, Mummy. We are good at skating. <laughs> Pepper and George love roller skating. <laughs> Are you OK, Emily? Yes, Daddy, I'm fine. Simon Squirrel and Belinda Bear are doing the music. They are big clap, children. Clap, clap. <sighs> I wish we could play something grown up. Clap, Belinda clap, Bear clap. is nearly ten years old. What should we play next? The wheels on the bus, please. Oh, I can't seem to find wheels on the bus. Look, there it is. Ah, uh, thank you, Madame Gazelle. Wheels on the bus go round and round. This music is so babyish. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Hello, Mummy and Daddy. Hello, Hello, George. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Emily. This 
is fun. It's the first time I've been to one of these things. How many times do the children go round? Uh, hundreds and hundreds of times. Ah. <laughs> the children love going around in a circle hundreds and hundreds of times. <laughs> Hello, Daddy! Hello, Peppa! <laughs> Hello, George! Here is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Come on, let's go together. OK! <laughs> Freddy Fox is going the wrong way. Look out, Pedro! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone go the same way so you don't bump into each other. <laughs> Hello, Daddy! <laughs> Hello, Peppa! <laughs> Hello, Mummy! Hello, Randy! Hello, Daddy! Hello, Emily! Hello, Daddy! Hello, Molly! <laughs> Hello, Mummy! <laughs> Hello again, Peppa! Hello again, Daddy! <laughs> Hello again, Emily. What a surprise seeing you here. <laughs> All day long. Now that baby music is finished, we can play something good. I've got just the one. Can we have one potato, two potato, please? <sighs> one potato, two potato, three potato, four. Five potato, six potato, seven potato, five. We have to be quicker with our own music potato, next time. Potato, yes. I've got it ready to play. Wow, Daddy's going backwards. Ooh. How do you do that? <laughs> I don't know. Quick, it's over. Put our record on. Yeah, time for some real music. Pepper and her friends do not know how to skate to this music. Oh my word! This is my all-time favourite song! Skate on down to <laughs> Disco Town <laughs> Madame Gazelle's roller skates are flashing! Skate on down to the Disco wow. Town That's incredible! <laughs> Madame Gazelle is very good at disco roller skating. Wow! I wish I could do that! Me too! Loves roller disco. Everyone loves roller disco. Health check. Today, Pepper is going to the doctor's for a health check. Are we all ready? Yes, I've got Teddy. And I've got the red book. What's the red book? It's your very own book, Pepper. It helps the doctor see how you are growing up. Ooh. Pepper has arrived at the doctor's. Here is Dr Brown Bear. Hello, Pepper. Have you come for your health check? Yes, I have. And did you bring your red book with you? Yes, I did. <coughs> and I brought Teddy too. Very good. You're seeing Dr Polar Bear today. Ah, that means she's ready to see you. This is Dr Polar Bear. Hello. Who do we have here? I'm Peppa Pig. And who is this? Teddy. Has Teddy come to see what happens at a health check? Yes. Lovely. And did you bring your red book? Here it is. Excellent. Let's start by seeing how tall you are. Come and stand by the wall here, please, Peppa. <laughs> That's it. I'm a big girl now. Yes, you are. Dr Polar Bear writes how tall Pepper is in the red book. Now, hop onto these scales for me, please. Scales show how heavy you are. That's good. Now, I will listen to your heart with my stethoscope. A stethoscope makes your heart sound louder. Dr Polar Bear can hear Pepper's heart beating. Would you like to listen? Yes, please. <laughs> it's going bumpy dump, bumpy dump, bumpy dump. <laughs> and now Teddy. Is Teddy 
Teddy's heart going bumpy dump, bumpy dump? No, Teddy's heart doesn't do that because Teddy is a doll. Oh, I see. Now I'll check your ears with my special torch. <laughs> it tickles! That's all lovely. Now I'll check your mouth. Say, ah. Uh... Ah! Uh... Wonderful! Do you want to check my nose? <laughs> Thank you, Peppa. I can see that your nose is working very well. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see you jump up and down. <laughs> I love jumping up and down. And flap your arms. Okay. <laughs> Super. Now, do you like eating fruit and vegetables? Yes, I do. What are your favourite fruit and vegetables? I like apples and oranges and bananas. Good. And do you like broccoli? Mm, I like broccoli a little bit. OK. But I love spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti isn't a vegetable, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> I love spaghetti too. <laughs> is Peppa up to date with her vaccinations? Yes, she is. A vaccination stops you getting ill. Very good. Well done, Peppa. That's the end of your health check. Would you like a sticker? Yes, please. Mummy Pig, are there any questions that you want to ask me? Oh, I can't think of any. I have some questions. OK. How big and heavy are you? <laughs> I am just the right size for a polar bear. And do you like eating broccoli? I like broccoli a little bit. Good. You can have a sticker too. Thank you, Peppa. Teddy eats lots of broccoli. Well, Teddy must have a sticker then. And Mummy can have a sticker because she eats broccoli too. Oh, thank you, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your red book back, all up to date. Thank you, Dr Polar Bear. Did you enjoy coming today, Peppa? Yes, it was really fun. <laughs> Peppa loves having a health check. <laughs> Everyone loves having a health check. Families. Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we are going to do drawings of our families. Ooh. This is me. I live on my own in a very tall house. Sometimes my two sisters come to visit. And we play music. Greta plays bass. Gretel plays drums. And I play guitar. We rock! That is my family. Now it is your turn. <laughs> <laughs> this is me, Susie Sheep. I live with my mummy. She likes to push me on the swing. <laughs> Higher, mummy! <laughs> Higher! <laughs> <laughs> and that is my family. I am Mandy Mouse. Here is me with mummy and daddy. We like playing in the park. To you, Mandy. <laughs> to you, daddy. <laughs> Everyone likes playing in the park. Who's next? Me. What a lovely drawing, Pedro. This is Mummy and Daddy and me, Pedro Pony. I have glasses. Daddy has glasses. Mummy has contact lenses. Amazing. How about the Panda Twins? Pandora and Peggy are doing their drawing together. Daddy is a police officer. And Mummy is a firefighter. Sometimes Daddy drives us in his police car. Daddy, can we do the siren? Yes, please, can we do the siren? Now, girls, you know the siren is only for emergencies. Please! Oh, all right then. <laughs> Super! And Danny Dog? My daddy is a sea captain. He has adventures on his boat. But now daddy has come home to me and mummy. And he won't go back to sea ever, ever, ever again. <laughs> what a wonderful adventure. Who's next? 
I'm Penny Polar Bear. I live with my mummy and my other mummy. One mummy is a doctor and one mummy cooks spaghetti. I love spaghetti. Lovely, Penny. And Freddy Fox? My dad has a van. It has everything in the world inside it. In packs of five. <laughs> Super. And Rebecca? This is me with Mummy, Daddy, Richard, Rosie and Robbie. We live in a hill. Sometimes my auntie Miss Rabbit visits. Oh, it's nice to have a break from all my jobs. A rescue service, please. I'm stuck up a mountain and I need rescuing. Oh, Dad, not again. OK, I'm on my way. Miss Rabbit is always busy because she does all the jobs in the world. Yes, what would we do without Miss Rabbit? Who's next? I am Peppa Pig. And this is Mummy and Daddy and my little brother George. George thinks his toy dinosaur is scary. <coughs> it is not scary. But if I don't play, he cries. <coughs> It's hard work having a little brother. <laughs> the parents are here to collect the children. Hello. Hello, mummies and daddies. Come and find yourself on our wall. Oh, is that me? Yes, mummy. And that's you, daddy. Oh, oh, it looks exactly like me. Yes, what wonderful drawings of the families. I love families. Peppa <laughs> loves families. Everyone loves families. Belize car. Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. Good morning, children. Good morning, Madam Gazelle. Today, as a special treat, some of you are going to spend a day with the police. As a prisoner? <laughs> no, Freddy. As a guest. They will join us as we drive around in our police car helping people. Who would like to go? Me! Me! OK, Peppa and Freddy. <laughs> this is the police car. Have fun. I will call you when it is the children's lunchtime. Right you are, Madam Gazelle. See you later. Don't be late. We are having sandwiches and jelly. Sandwiches and jelly, eh? Mm -hmm. Mm, delicious! The police like sandwiches and jelly. Bye, everyone! Bye! Nino, Nino, Nino! <laughs> Can we use the siren, please? I'm afraid not, Freddy. The siren is to be used only for emergencies. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, dear. There is a traffic jam. We need to get past all these cars to see what the problem is. Can we use the siren now? Yes! This is just the sort of emergency the siren is for. Hooray! It is Mr Stallion. His car has broken down. The police! Thank goodness you're here! What seems to be the trouble? My car is broken. Don't worry, Mr Stallion. We'll sort this out. Thank you. No need to thank us. We're just doing our job. Car parked in middle of road and obstructing traffic. Now we simply move the car out of the way. Ugh, there. And the traffic can move again. Hooray! Emergency over. Bye-bye, Mr Stallion! Bye-bye! Bye! So you see, children, our day is full of emergencies like that. We never know what will come next. Calling all police. Calling all police. Who's that? It's the police station. Receiving you loud and clear. Over. Emergency! Cat stuck up a tree. Another emergency. Can we use the siren again? Of course, Freddy. We've got a cat to rescue. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. What's going on here, then? It's Mr Cat. Meow. Mr Cat is stuck in the tree. What 
are you doing up there? I climbed up. Why? It seemed like a good idea at the time. <sighs> and now you're stuck? Yes. It's a good thing we're around to help, isn't it? Yes. <sighs> I'll get the ladder. Don't worry, Mr Cat. We'll get you down. Emergency over. Hooray! Sorry, the tree looked like it would be good fun to climb. Yes, it's not a good idea to have a tree here. Dangerous tree in wrong place. So, children, have you enjoyed your day with the police? It's been brilliant! I want to be a policeman when I grow up. Good lad. Calling the police. Over. Another emergency? How exciting! <laughs> Police Officer Panda, receiving you loud and clear. Over. This is Madame Gazelle. Peppa and Freddy are late for their lunch. Remember, it is sandwiches and jelly. Over. Late for sandwiches and jelly? Now that's what I call a real emergency. So, can we use the... Use the siren? Of course. It's what the siren was built for. Hooray! Pepper and Freddy love the police car. Everyone loves the police car. Monkey has a cough. It is a lovely sunny day at Pepper's house. I'm a tiny little fairy. <laughs> what a noisy little fairy. <laughs> Mummy... I'm going to magic you into a frog. Oh, dear. Please don't. If you turn me into a frog, I'll have to live in a pond on my own and I will be so sad. <laughs> don't worry, Mummy. It's just pretend. I know, Pepper. I'm pretending too. That's why I winked. What? When someone closes one eye... It is a wink, and it means that they are pretending. So, you were pretending to be sad? Yes. It was a joke. Ah, so you were trying to make a joke. It wasn't a very funny joke. <laughs> Thank you, Peppa. Zoe Zebra has come to play with Peppa. Hello, Zoe. <coughs> Hello, Peppa. Zoe has her toy monkey. Monkey says, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Let's play in my bedroom. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> How are you today, monkey? <coughs> oh, dear. Monkey has a bad cough. <coughs> That's not monkey coughing. That's you. No, monkey has a bad cough. <coughs> Why are you closing and opening your eyes? I am closing one eye because I'm winking. Why? You wink to tell people it's pretend. And Monkey has a cough. <coughs> oh, it's a game. <laughs> Here is George. So, Dr George, Monkey has a bad cough. Dr George... What cure do you suggest for the cough? It's just pretend, George. That's why we are winking. <laughs> Daddy Buzz! Good advice, Dr George. Monkey must go to bed <laughs> and not watch any TV. No fun for Monkey until he is better. <laughs> Thank you, Dr George. <laughs> Daddy Pig has arrived home from work. I'm home. Hello, Daddy Pig. Daddy, Daddy, Monkey had a cough. Dr George told us to put Monkey to bed with no TV. And now Monkey is better. Is there something wrong with your eyes? No, Daddy. We are winking. Oh? It's just pretend. Oh, I see. That is clever. And you learned how to wink today, did you? Yes. Well, I learned something new today, too. I learned how to talk like a pirate. Ha ha, Jim lad. Shiver me timbers. Arr. Why did you learn to talk like a pirate? 
that? Well, you see, I've given up my old job and I've got a new job as a pirate. <laughs> Daddy Pig, shouldn't we have discussed this first? <laughs> Daddy is just joking, Mummy. <laughs> Shiver me timbers. <laughs> oh, poor Daddy Pig. Oh, it's nothing. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that pirate voice. <coughs> Are you pretending, Daddy? No, Pepper. I think this is a real cough. <coughs> Daddy Buzz! Yes, Dr George says straight to bed. And no TV for ten years. Oh, dear. That doesn't sound fun. Hmm. I know a nicer way to cure a cough. Oh? You have to wiggle your ears, <coughs> jump up and down, and quack like a duck. <laughs> quack, 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 quack. What? <laughs> you winked, Mummy. Oh, oh, you're just joking. <laughs> Mummy Pig loves joking. <laughs> Everyone loves joking. America. Pepper and George are watching Super Potato. Hoo-ha! When a trip to Hollywood to star in my new film, Vegetables in Space. Ooh. Just find the golden ticket to win the trip of a lifetime to America! Mummy, can we find Super Potato's golden ticket, please? Well, there's only one ticket in the whole world. So we'd have to be very lucky to find it. Oh, what's this in the potato? It's the golden ticket! <gasps> Does that mean...? Yes. It means we're going to America. America! Pepper and her family are flying to America. Miss Rabbit is the pilot. This is your captain speaking. We'll soon be arriving in America, I think. Does anyone know where it is? I've never been before. You can't miss it. It's really big. Is that it? Let's ask. Hello down there. Are you America? Yes, ma'am. We are. Jolly good. We're coming into land. <laughs> Welcome to America. <gasps> Miss Rabbit at your service. Where do you want to go? You're Miss Rabbit. Sure. But this is Miss Rabbit. Every town needs a Miss Rabbit. That's right. Bye. Enjoy your trip. Is this Hollywood? Hollywood? No! This is New York. Hop in. I'll give you the tour. <laughs> New York, the city that never sleeps. Do you never sleep? Well, yeah, but only at night. Wow! The buildings are so tall. First stop of the tour, the Empire State Building! Wow. wow! Can we go to the top? For sure. Going up. Do you do all the jobs, Miss Rabbit? No, just the important ones. Ice creams! Ooh! We're so high in the sky! Oh, I can't look. Daddy Pig does not like heights. But there's so much to see, Daddy. Yes! With this telescope, you can see even more. I can see a big green lady with an ice cream. That's the Statue of Liberty. Look at me. I miss a Statue of Liberty. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, people. we got to get moving. Oh, going already? Yeah, like we say in New York, if you ain't moving, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm moving. Where are we going next, Miss Rabbit? Times Square. Look at all the lights, Mummy. There must be a million light bulbs here. It's the most light bulbiest square in all the world. Oh, look, there's Super Potato. Coming soon, the new movie from Super Potato and Hash Brown, Vegetables in Space. That's a movie we're going to be in. Really? Well, then you better get straight to Hollywood. Yes. Can you take us? I'm afraid not, but I have just the thing to get you there. A motorhome! 
What's a motorhome? It's just like a house. On wheels. Ooh. Ooh. Here are your keys. Do you want to come too? And meet Hash Brown? Oh, sure. But I'm just so busy. You all have a great time. Thank, Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. Oh, I'm tired out. Yes, for a city that never sleeps, it's made me very sleepy. It has been a very busy day in New York. Good night. Night, night. Pepper and her family need a good night's sleep for the journey ahead. And a sea party. It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper is feeding Goldie the fish. Mummy, how old is Goldie? Well, I think she must be almost a year old. When is her birthday? Let's see. Her birthday is tomorrow. Can Goldie have a party? Oh, um, perhaps we can have a little party. Daddy, Daddy, Goldie's having a birthday party. A party for a fish. That's fun. I suppose it will be an undersea party with starfish, treasure and mermaids all in an amazing undersea world. Oh, <laughs> yes. It will be the best party ever. Oh, oh. <laughs> Daddy Pig, what have you done? It's just a game, isn't it? We're not really having a party. Well, yes, I think we are, and it's tomorrow. Oh, I see. OK, keep calm, don't panic. We'll just get some help. Undersea party. Here we go. Undersea parties. Brought to your house by Miss Rabbit. Sounds good. Click here and I'll be straight over. Hello. Wow, that was quick. How many days have I got to plan this party? It's tomorrow. No problem. You go to bed. I've got this. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Good night. Right, let's get to work. <laughs> it is Goldie's birthday. Miss Rabbit has made an amazing undersea world with shells, seaweed and big waves on the walls. Wow! <gasps> you did all this in one night? It's unbelievable! Happy birthday, Goldie! <laughs> oh, who can that be? Well, you said it was a party, so I invited everyone! <laughs> Happy birthday, Goldie! <laughs> This is Penny Polar Bear. I never been to an undersea party. Bye, Penny. Have a lovely time. <laughs> I've made costumes for everybody. You can be a mermaid, Peppa. Thank you. And here is a crab costume for George. Pinch, pinch. I am Susie Octopus. <laughs> I'm Mandy Shark. Squeak. But I'm not a scary shark. I only eat cheese. <laughs> Penny Polar Bear is a penguin. Yeah. Danny Dog is a pirate. Aha! Rebecca Rabbit is, um... I'm a fish finger because I love fish fingers. <laughs> I'm a sea captain and Edmund is a jellyfish. I'm not convinced this costume accurately represents a jellyfish, but I'm not going to spoil the fun. Oh, you all look brilliant. <laughs> Is everybody ready for the pirate treasure hunt? Yes, yes Miss Rabbit. The first clue is I swim along with a giant tail. I'm the biggest fish in the sea. I'm a... Shark! Almost. I have a giant tail. I'm a... Whale! That's right! <laughs> <laughs> Biggest fish in the sea is a whale. Actually, a whale is not a fish, it's a mammal. Edmund Elephant really is extremely clever. <laughs> OK, last clue. I'm buried treasure and X marks the spot. <laughs> <laughs> it is! Well done! You found the treasure! It's teeny tiny. That's because it's for a tiny fish. Ah, this is for you, Goldie. <coughs> Happy birthday. 
Goldie loves undersea parties. Everybody loves undersea parties. Police boat. Pepper, George, and Freddy Fox are sailing on the river with Grandpa Pig. Right. Who wants to play pirates? Me, me, me. Peppa, raise the pirate flag. Aye, aye, Captain Grandpa. Now we can pretend to be pirates. Aha! It is Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel in their police boat. Hello, hello, hello. hello. Uh, hello. We couldn't help noticing that you seem to be a pirate ship. You've got a pirate flag. And you've got pirate hats on. It's our job to keep the water safe from fearsome pirates. Oh, it's just a game. We are pretending to be pirates. Ah, just pretend. That's OK, then. Just playing at being pirates, so no problem. Anyway, we can't stand around chatting. We've got lots of important work to do in our police boat. Can we help you with your police work? Oh, it's serious work. And you are little children. So I think the answer has to be no. Please! Oh, all right then. Hop aboard. <laughs> Have a nice time. Bye-bye. Bye. While I wait... I suppose I could have a read of my newspaper. <laughs> this is exciting! Calling police boat. It's the police station. Emergency! Emergency! A boat is sinking. We are on our way. It is Grumpy Rabbit. His boat is sinking. Hello, Grumpy Rabbit. Hello, Pepper. Good to see you. What seems to be the problem? Uh, well, I built this lovely boat myself from all bits and bobs of junk, but for some reason it won't float. A boat that doesn't float? It's lucky we were called. A boat that does not float on water. So, unless there's anything else you want to report, we'll be on our way. Uh, would it be OK if you rescued me? Of course! Grab hold of this life ring. The police boat has rescued Grampy Rabbit. Hooray! Bye-bye, Grampy Rabbit! Bye! This is really fun! <laughs> Calling police boat. Another emergency! Pirate ship on the river. Repeat. Pirate ship on the river. We're on our way. Oh, looks like we've found a real pirate. Aha, me hearties. Sorry to trouble you, but we just need to check if you're a pirate. We thought we'd caught some pirates earlier, but it turned out they were just playing. That was us. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, uh, I am playing too. Wow! Amazing costume! And your ship looks like the real thing. Yes, I've made a bit of an effort, as it's, uh, Talk Like a Pirate Day. What's that? Well, it's all for a good cause. You just have to talk like a pirate. <laughs> Pieces of eight! Shiver me timbers! Jim lad! Wow, you're good! Just playing at being a pirate for Talk Like a Pirate Day. Calling police boat. Traffic jam on the river. Repeat, traffic jam on the river. We are on our way! Bye! Grandpa Pig is fast asleep and his boat is making a traffic jam. Wake up, Grandpa! Uh, what? Oh, Peppa! You're back. You just need to move your boat so the traffic can pass. Of course. Sorry! Hooray! The children have been a big help on the police boat today. <laughs> Peppa loves the police boat. Everybody loves the police boat. Rescuing Miss Rabbit. Peppa is visiting the library today. Miss Rabbit is in charge of the library. Hello, Peppa and George. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Everyone keeps quiet in the library so that books can be enjoyed in silence and calm. 
Here is Mr. Bull. He has come to mend the library roof. Sorry, Miss Rabbits. Just mending the roof. Well, please mend it quietly. This is a library. OK. <gasps> the emergency telephone. Hello, rescue service. Miss Rabbit. Tiddles the Tartars is stuck up a tree again. I'll be right there. Back in a mo. Keep everyone quiet for me. OK. Thank goodness you're here. Tiddles is too high up to reach. Hmm. Do I need a helicopter? Or an aeroplane? Or, oh, a ladder! What a bit of luck! There was already a ladder here! There! Finished! <gasps> Lovely job! Ladder coming through! Stand back, everyone! Got you! Miss Rabbit has rescued Tiddles the Tortoise. Tiddles, you naughty boy! Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. Hello, rescue service. Oh, I'm stuck on the roof. My ladder has vanished into thin air. Oh, uh, how strange. Don't worry, I'm on my way. Thank you. Oh, what would we do without Miss Rabbit? Hold tight, Mr Bull. I'm coming up. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. Miss Rabbit has rescued Mr Bull. Hang on. This is my ladder. Yes. Lucky for you, I, uh, found it. Yes, that was lucky. Bye. Bye. See you later. Oh, so how am I going to get down? In the library, Pepper, George and Daddy Pig are quietly reading a story. Once upon a time, there lived a red monkey and... The emergency telephone! Hello, rescue service. I'm away from my desk right now, but please leave a message after the beep. Hello? Hello? It's me, Miss Rabbit! Help! Hello? This is Daddy Pig. Rescue me! I'm stuck on the library roof! Uh, how can we rescue you from the roof? Have you got a helicopter or an aeroplane? No. Or a ladder? No. What can we do? I almost can't bring myself to say it. We'll have to call... my dad! Hello, a Grampy Rabbit here. Hello, Dad. I'm at the library. I need rescuing. What? And bring a ladder. A ladder, you say? Don't worry, I'm on my way. Grampy Rabbit is going to use a fire engine to rescue Miss Rabbit. Fire engines have ladders. Stand aside. Fire engine coming through. You can't drive a fire engine in here. Shh! Keep your voice down. This is a library. Sorry. Now, where is Miss Rabbit? Up on the roof. Oh, I see. That's why she said bring a ladder. Hang on. I'm coming up. Thank goodness. I'm saved. Miss Rabbit is rescued. Hooray! <laughs> Thank you for rescuing me, Dad. Just doing my job. Miss Rabbit and Grampy Rabbit are good at rescuing. All rabbits are good at rescuing. Playing golf. Pepper and George are playing golf with Grandpa Pig. To play golf is quite simple. You take a golf ball and hit it with a golf club into the hole. Like this. You missed the hole, Grandpa. That's all right. I can hit it again. Missed again, Grandpa. It doesn't matter. You can hit the ball as many times as you like. There. Hooray! <laughs> Here are Mr Stallion and Mrs Corgi. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Showing the little ones how to play golf, eh? Yes. 
That's right. Well, I hope your grandpa is teaching you properly. The secret is to give the golf club a jolly good swing. Wow! The ball went in the hole in one go. Yes, it's called a hole in one. Well done. Grandpa, have you ever done a hole in one? No. I never have. Well, keep trying, old chap. Who knows? You might do it one day. Toodle pip. Bye. Can I have a go now? Of course, Pepper. Do you remember what to do? Yes. You get a ball. A golf ball. And a stick. A golf club. And you hit it. Oh, it didn't go very far. Now it's George's turn. <laughs> Remember, you can have as many goes as you like. Ready, steady, go. My turn. Ugh, this is impossible. Don't worry, Pepper. We've got all day. Ugh. Ugh. I'm a bit bored, Grandpa. Oh, what's that? It looks like a fairy castle. There's a windmill and a dinosaur. It's just kiddie golf, Pepper. It's for little children. But, Grandpa, we are little children. Oh, yes, so you are. All right, you and George can play. <laughs> <laughs> this is the kiddie golf course. How do we play? Well, I suppose it is quite fun. The ball has to go through that windmill, over the back of the dinosaur, onto a fairy castle, and into the hole. Me first. <laughs> you go, George. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> What's this? Grandpa, are you playing kiddie golf? Uh, yes. Pepper and George are little, you see. Lucky you. I wish we could play kiddie golf. You can play with us. Oh, thank you, Pepper. Hmm, let me see now. Oh, bad luck, old bean. I say, this is rather fun. Oh. It must be your turn now, eh, Grandpa Pig? Oh, this is not really my kind of game. Don't worry, Grandpa. You can hit the ball as many times as you like. I suppose so. We've got all day. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Is it all in one go? You got a hole in one. Yes, I did. For the first time in my life, a hole in one. Hooray! Well done, old chap. My grandpa is the best. Grandpa Pig <laughs> loves playing golf. Everybody loves playing golf. <laughs> Hollywood. Pepper and her family are in America, on their way to Hollywood. Are we nearly there yet? I don't know. Let's stop and look at the map. Hmm. So, what have we got here? It's another Miss Rabbit. Is everything all right, Miss Rabbit? Sir, did you know that you may only stop on a freeway if it is an emergency? But it is an emergency. We've won tickets to be in Super Potato's new movie, Vegetables in Space. So we need to get to Hollywood. Oh, well, in that case, just hang a right and then you head straight on until you see the stars. But it's daytime. The stars aren't in the sky. They're on the ground. Ooh. Ooh. Thank, Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. Bye. We've got to look for the stars. <laughs> George has seen a star. And another star. There are lots of stars all over the ground. There's Super Potato. Am I a bird? Am I a plane? No, I'm a potato. And I am Hash Brown. Ooh. And I'm Peppa.
Peppa Pig. <laughs> we won a ticket to be in your movie. Vegetables in space. Then let's get to the studio. We've got a movie to make. <laughs> Here is the movie studio. This is where we make the movie. Wow! It's like we're really in space. That's right. Time to put on your costumes. <laughs> Pepper and her family are dressed up as broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> you look funny, Mummy Broccoli. So do you, Pepper Broccoli. Shh! No talking on set. We are about to start filming my movie, Vegetables in Space. Lights. Camera, action! Attention, the galaxy is being taken over by a bunch of naughty carrots. Not the carrots! Yes, the naughty carrot bunch. I, Super Potato, am here to save the day. And I, Hash Brown, will save the day too. Um, what do we do? You are the vegetables in space. You have to cheer when we save the day. Oh, okay. How are you going to save the day, Super Potato? Uh, we haven't thought of that bit yet. Oh, no! The naughty carrots will destroy the universe. If only there was some way of getting rid of them. We can't eat the carrots. But there are too many. What's this? There are some fans here to see Hash Brown. It is Miss Rabbit, Miss Rabbit, Miss Rabbit, and Miss Rabbit. Hooray! It's the Miss Rabbits! We decided to take the day off for a change. We couldn't miss Hash Brown. He's our favorite potato starch-based movie star. <laughs> You're too kind. Uh, could you help us save the universe? We have to eat the carrots. Sure thing, we're rabbits. We love carrots. Save some for me. I love carrots too. Look, it's our Miss Rabbit. Mmm, yummy. We did it! The universe is saved! Hooray! Thanks to Peppa Pig. And all the Miss Rabbits. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Actually, I'm here to take you home. Oh, already? <coughs> bye bye, everyone. Bye. bye. Have you had a good time in America, Peppa? Yes, it's been amazing. What was the best bit? The it was everything! Pepper has had a wonderful time in America. Potty training. Susie Sheep has come to play with Pepper and George. <laughs> Pepper and Susie are having a tea party. <laughs> Would Teddy like some tea? Yes, please. Teddy loves tea. <laughs> Here you are, then. Thank you very much. George is playing with Mr. Dinosaur. Dinosaur! Grrr. <laughs> George likes playing with Mr. Dinosaur. Oh. What's that smell? Poo-poo! Uh. -poo. Mummy! George is done poo-poo! Do you need the potty, George? Too late for the potty. Oh, yes. Let's get you cleaned up, George. That's better. Now, where were we? Tea. Oh, yes. Does Teddy want more tea? Of course. Teddy likes lots of tea. <laughs> <laughs> there we are, all clean and fresh again. <laughs> Mummy, why can't George go to the toilet like me? George is too little for the toilet, Pepper. He is potty training. Hmm. He is not very good at potty training. He will get better, Peppa. You were just the same once. What? <coughs> I never did potty training. Or me. <laughs> we all did potty training when we were little, Peppa. Even mummies and daddies. Really? Yes. <coughs> now I remember sitting on the potty. Like this. <laughs> 
So, George, next time, before you poo-poo or wee-wee, call the magic word potty. Potty! That's right, potty! If you do it right, you get to stay all clean and fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play Giants! <laughs> Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the smell of a clean, fresh George. <laughs> Quick, George, hide from the Giants! <laughs> I'm coming to get you, little piggy! <laughs> Excuse me, Madame Sheep. Have you seen a little piggy around here? <laughs> Does he smell clean and soapy fresh? Yes. <laughs> he went that way. Come <laughs> back, you cheeky piggy. <laughs> I'm coming to get you. <laughs> wee wee. Mummy, Daddy, George wants his potty. Come on, George. Let's get you to your potty. George is on his potty. <laughs> well done, Pepper, for shouting out. George did a wee in his potty. But next time, George, you must do the shouting out. <laughs> Call the magic word potty. Potty. Oh, oh, the magic word is potty. So when you want to go, Call out for your potty. The magic word is potty. 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 <laughs> <laughs> How high can you throw the ball, Peppa? Really high. Watch this. Woo! <laughs> Catch the ball, George. <laughs> George? Do you need the potty? Potty! 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 Hang on, George! We've got the potty! Here it is. Well done, George. You called for the potty. Potty! Hooray! Hooray! Now George is almost grown up. Like me! <laughs> George loves potty training. Everybody loves potty training. Jelly! Mummy Pig is working on her computer. Mummy, can me and George play on the computer? Sorry, Pepper. I've got a lot of important work to do today. Oh. You two can help me in the kitchen. OK. There's a cupboard in here that needs a jolly good tidy. Ooh. Could you pass me a pan, please? Here's a pan, Daddy. Thank you, Pepper. <laughs> Thank you, George. What is this funny thing? That is a special bowl for making jelly. Ooh, I like jelly. <laughs> Can we make some jelly? Good idea, Peppa. Maybe it can be a surprise for Mummy Pig. Yes! First, we need to go to the shops and get everything we need to make jelly. <laughs> Goodbye, Mummy Pig! We're just popping out! OK, see you later. Daddy, Peppa and George have come to the supermarket. Daddy? Do we need to make jelly? Well, we don't need flour or eggs or milk or butter. To make jelly, we just need a uh, jelly. It doesn't look very wibbly or wobbly. We add water to make it wibbly wobbly. Oh. What flavour do you want? Cheese. <laughs> George <laughs> likes cheese. I don't think they have cheese jelly, George. There is strawberry, orange or lemon flavour. I like strawberry. Remember, the jelly is for Mummy Pig. What do you think she would like? Uh, strawberry. Hello, Pepper and George. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Can you guess what we're making? Let me see. Are you making jelly? Yes. I love jelly, all wibbly wobbly and delicious. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> We're back home, Mummy Pig. Very good. Right, let's make jelly. <laughs> First, 
We open the packet and take out the jelly cubes. Mmm, they are a bit wibbly and wobbly. We break the jelly cubes into a bowl and add some hot water. A grown-up must do this bit and stir. The water has gone strawberry colour. Yes, the jelly cubes have melted. Now we can pour it into the jelly mould. The fridge will make it go cold and wobbly. How long will it take? Not long. Let's set the timer. When the timer goes ping, the jelly will be ready. It's taking a long time. While we wait, let's make Mummy a card to go with the jelly. Yes! Pepper and George are drawing a jelly card <laughs> for Mummy Pig. Very good. What should we write inside? Um, dear Mummy, all this jelly is for you. Love from Peppa and George. Kiss, kiss. Um, please can you share your jelly with Peppa and George? <coughs> and can Daddy have some too? Lovely. The timer has gone ping and the jelly is ready. We just turn the mould over on the plate and out pops the... Jelly! It's wibbly and it's wobbly. Blah, blah, blah. The end. Mummy Pig has finished her important work. <gasps> Mummy's coming! Surprise! Surprise! Oh, how wonderful! We made jelly! Ooh, my favourite. And it's all for you. And some for me and George and Daddy. Wibbly wobbly jelly. Thank you. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Pig, Pepper and George like jelly. Everyone likes jelly. Heaps. <laughs> Pepper and George are at playgroup with their friends. Children, today we are going to play with hoops. Ooh. Playing with hoops is a super fun way to exercise. And exercise is good for you. Yes, exercise gets your body working and your heart pumping. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> OK, take a hoop each. <laughs> there are lots of ways to exercise with a hoop. We will start by throwing it into the air like this. Hoopla! And catch! Now you try! Hoopla! Hoopla! Very good! Now let's try rolling your hoops along the floor and running after them! <laughs> now lie your hoops on the ground and jump from one hoop to the other! Jump, 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 jump. Jump, 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 Madam Gazelle is spinning the hoop around her middle. You try! Everyone is trying to spin their hoops. Madame Gazelle, I can't do it. It's not working. My hoop is not very spinny. It is difficult to spin a hoop around your middle. Don't be sad if you cannot do it straight away. It takes a lot of practice to get it right. It is home time. Take your hoops and practice at home, children. <laughs> Look, Mummy, we've got hoops to take home. Oh, wonderful. Daddy, Daddy, look what we've got. Wow, hoops. They are for exercise. I see. Madam Gazelle says exercise makes your heart go, uh, boom, bang, boom. That sounds great. You throw them up in the air like this. Hoopla! Hoopla! And catch them like this. Very good, Daddy. 
and you roll them like this. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> and you jump on them like this. <laughs> oh, that looks fun. You can do it too, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that was good. My heart is certainly going boom, bang, boom. <laughs> but the best thing ever is to spin the hoop like this. Oh. Uh, it's very hard to do. May I have a go? OK. But don't be sad if you can't do it, Mummy. Right, here we go. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Mummy Pig can spin the hoop. Wow! Very good! Have another go, Pepper. Ready, steady, go! Ah, uh, I'll never do it. I've got an idea. Hold on, don't move. Where is Daddy going now? <laughs> I think this will do it. You've got to spin the hoop. What you need is music to spin to. Ready, steady, go! Hooray! <laughs> Peppa can spin her hoop. George can spin his hoop. We're doing it, George! <laughs> you clever piggies. <laughs> Peppa and George love spinning hoops. Everybody loves spinning hoops. <laughs> Lucky Hamper. Pepper and her friends are at play. Children, who knows what this is? It's an empty basket thing. Correct. And it is called a hamper. What is it for? We are going to raise money for a good cause. Ooh. We fill the with lovely things to eat. Can we put fruit in it? How about a pineapple? And a coconut. I like bananas. Wonderful! It will be a tropical hamper. Where do we get all this fruit? Good question, Susie. Please, can you all bring lots of fruit from home? Yes, yes Madame Gazelle! We will sell raffle tickets. Your mummies and daddies write their name on a ticket and if they are lucky, they win the hamper! Wow! It is home time. Mummy, Mummy, we are making a lucky hamper. And you could buy a ticket to win it. That sounds nice. Don't forget to bring lots of tropical fruit, children. Daddy, Daddy, we need to find fruit. Hey, what? It's for our playgroup Lucky Hamper. Ah, how about this apple? No, Daddy. It has to be Troppy Poppy Curl. Yes, Madam Gazelle did shout something about tropical fruit. <coughs> We've got this coconut. Good. <coughs> and there's this tin of pineapple slices at the back of the cupboard. Will they do? Yes. Now you need to buy a ticket. <laughs> I see. And you put your name on the ticket. Daddy Pig. If your ticket is the lucky one, you win the hamper. Fantastic. Uh, Mummy, can you buy the rest of my tickets? <laughs> well, I suppose it is all for a good cause. It is the next day. All the children have brought tropical fruit for the lucky hamper. Bananas and a tin of pineapple. <coughs> I have a mango and four tins of pineapple. I've got a real pineapple. Wow! And a tin of pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful! Our hamper is full. Now we can decorate it with tropical things like palm trees, parrots, and fish. <laughs> Children are making decorations for the hamper. I'm making a palm tree. Here is the trunk and here are the leaves. <laughs> what a lovely palm tree. Let's stick it on the hamper. I am making a parrot. Wonderful. It will look good just here. I've made the sea. And I've made a tropical fish. Oh, perfect. I've made a pirate flag. Yo ho ho! <laughs> Thank you, Denny. The hamper is finished. Who will be the lucky person to win our hamper? <laughs> Hello. Oh, oh. 
The parents have arrived. Thank you, everyone, for giving so much fruit for our lucky hamper. Wow. wow! Nice! It looks amazing. And thank you for buying all our raffle tickets. It is time to see who will win the hamper. Ooh. I have put all the tickets in this bucket. I shake them around so they are all mixed up. I close my eyes and pick up the winning ticket. Madame Gazelle, there's one ticket left. Oh, my goodness, I forgot to buy a ticket for myself. Madame Gazelle. I will just add my ticket to the rest. I close my eyes. Um, shouldn't the bucket get mixed again? And pick up the winning ticket. Madame Gazelle. Oh, that's me! Madame Gazelle has won the hamper. That was very lucky. Hooray! <laughs> Madame Gazelle <laughs> loves lucky hampers. <laughs> Everyone loves lucky hampers. Hop, skip, jump. Pepper and George are playing in the garden. Can't catch me. <laughs> You're never going to get me. Here is Rebecca Rabbit. Hello. Hello, Rebecca. <laughs> what are you playing? We are running. Running is good, but can you hop? Yes, I can. Hop, hop, hop. That's not hopping, Pepper. That's jumping. Oh. Hopping is when you jump up and down on one leg, like this. Hop, 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 hop. Rebecca hop, Rabbit hop, is hop, good at hopping. Hop, 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 hop. Come on, George. Hopping is easy. You just jump on one leg. Hop. is fun. <laughs> Here is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Susie. Susie. What are you playing? We are hopping. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> Super duper. But can you skip? Yes, we can skip. Skip, 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 skip. skip, skip, skip. <laughs> That's not skipping. That is just funny running. Oh. oh! Skipping is when you hop on one leg, then hop on the other leg. Like this. Susie is good at skipping. Hop on one leg. And then the other. <laughs> Come on, George. <laughs> oh! George is good at skipping. <laughs> I can skip the highest. I can skip the longest. I can skip the fastest. <laughs> Here is Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Hey. Hello, Pedro. What are you playing? We were hopping. And now we are skipping. Have you done jumping? No, but I love jumping. <coughs> jump, jump, jump. Pepper is good at jumping. Hopping, skipping and jumping. Can you do them all together? What? what? Like this. Oh. <laughs> That's impossible. I mean a hop, a skip and then a jump. Like this. Hop, skip, jump. Ooh! My go! Hop, skip, ah, jump! No, that's wrong. I can do it. Skip, skip, hop. No. Jump, jump, jump! No. Let me try. Jump, hop, hop! <gasps> no. Hop, skip, jump is not easy. You have to keep it steady, like this. Hop, skip, jump. Hop, skip, jump. Are you ready? Are you steady? Hop, skip, jump. <laughs> Hop, skip, jump. Hop, skip, jump. 
Are you ready? Are you steady? Hop, skip, jump. <laughs> Peppa has found a muddy puddle. Hop, splash, skip, splash, jump, splash. Hop, skip, jump, splash, splash, splash. <laughs> Loves hop skip jump. Everyone loves hop skip jump, especially in muddy puddles. <laughs> the big hill. Today, Pepper and her family are going for a walk in the countryside. What a lovely day! Perfect for walking. <laughs> Aha! Here's a sign showing all the ways we can go. So which way do we go? You choose, Pepper. Um, let's go that way. That way leads up a big hill. That is a big hill. What's at the top of the hill? Well, as it's such a big hill, there's probably something amazing at the top. I want to see the something amazing. Are you sure you want to climb all the way to the top, Pepper? Yes. <laughs> let's Go. <laughs> Pepper and George are climbing the big hill. Mummy and Daddy Pig are climbing the big hill. Phew! My legs are tired already. <sighs> I knew it wouldn't be easy. Yay! The top! We did it! Hooray! I don't think this is the top. Look, the hill carries on. Yes, that wasn't the top because it didn't have something amazing. Do you really think there will be something amazing at the top, Daddy Pig? Well, there's got to be a cafe or something. A cafe? <coughs> Brilliant! That will keep me going. Ah, nearly there, George. It is hard work climbing the big hill. Oh, I can't wait to get to the cafe. Um, when I said there's got to be a cafe at the top, I should have added there's a chance there won't be any. Hello! It is Miss Rabbit's cafe. Amazing. What can I get you? Coffee for Daddy Pig and me and juices for Pepper and George. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. This is just what I needed. Yes. It really was worth climbing to the top. Oh, this isn't the top. What? No, you have to keep going up. That way. Okay, we've got this far, so we have to keep going. Onward and upward. <laughs> <gasps> Mummy, why did they make hills so big? Oh, I don't know, Peppa. I hope <sighs> the amazing thing at the top is amazing. Yes, I hope so too. Oh, it's all gone far. Oh, I think we're in the clouds. We must be near the top. It's getting flat. I think this is it. We made it. Hooray! Hooray! Wow! I can see the whole world. Look, there's the playground. <laughs> I can see the supermarket. And there is Susie. <laughs> I told you it would be amazing at the top. It is amazing. <laughs> now all we have to do is climb down. Well, going downhill is a lot easier than going up. Come on, George. <laughs> Let's roll a bit. Whee! Whee! Pepper and George love rolling down hills. <laughs> that looks fun. Can you? Daddy? I think if I started rolling down, Pepper, I might not be able to stop. <laughs> Daddy Pig has tripped on a mushroom. Ah! Ah! Wait for us, Daddy Pig. Rolling down was really fun. Can we climb up the hill and do it again? Of course. 
But maybe we'll save that for another day. Yes, the big hill will always be here. Oh, goody! <laughs> Peppa loves the big hill. Everybody loves the big hill. <laughs> Charity shop. Peppa and George are helping Mummy and Daddy Pig tidy up. Ooh, there's so much stuff in here. Yes, I'm sure we don't need half of it. What do you mean? Well, do you really need this tuba? Yes, I do. And one day, I'll learn how to play it. <laughs> I just have to find time to practice. Until then, it just sits around with all this other stuff gathering dust. Hmm. I say we take some of it to the charity shop. What is a charity shop? It's where you take things you don't need anymore. And it's all for a good cause. But it's so difficult to decide what to give away. It's easy. You just pick something up and ask yourself, does this bring me joy? If the answer is yes, we keep it. If the answer is no, it goes. OK. So I ask myself, does this plant bring me joy? And the answer is yes. It does. So we keep it. Yes. <laughs> does this plastic vase bring me joy? No. So it can go to the charity shop. Now it's Daddy's turn. I will help you, Daddy. OK, Peppa. Does this bell bring you joy, Daddy? Yes, it does. What about this cup? That's my football cup. Yes, it brings me joy. Maybe I should help Daddy from now on, Pepper. What about this tatty old chair? I thought we'd given it away already. Pure joy. What about this book? Hard Problems in Logistics, Volume 3. Hmm, that's not a very joyful book. OK, then it can go. Uh... This is fun! <laughs> what a great tidy up! Now, off to the charity shop. See you later. Bye. This is the charity shop. Here is Granny Wolf. Hello, Pepper and George. Hello. We've got some things for your shop. Oh, thank you very much. Here is Grandpa Giraffe. I've made the tea. Did someone say tea? Here is Grandad Elephant. Tea? And Grandma Cow. Uh, and old Mrs Donkey. I've made more tea. There are a lot of old people helping in the charity shop. They like drinking tea. Wow! There are so many interesting things in here. Yes, our shop is full of stuff. What do you do with it? We sell it. And the money raised is all for a good cause. Daddy, can we buy something? Well, yes. After all, it's all for a good cause. The great thing about charity shops is that you never know what you're going to find. One week it might be jigsaw puzzles. It's my job to count all the jigsaw pieces to make sure none are missing. There's one, two, three. The next week four, we might get bagpipes. Bagpipes? I've always wanted to play the bagpipes. We'll take them. Daddy, can we buy this wooden bird? Why not? George has found a garden gnome. We'll take that too. The more we buy, the more it helps. And look, we have a complete 20 volume encyclopedia. Wow! What's that? These books tell you everything about the world in 1956. Amazing! Pepper, George, and Daddy Pig have arrived home. Mummy, Mummy! We found lots of things at the charity shop. What? Yes! There was so much amazing stuff there. Look, a complete set of encyclopedia. And Daddy is going to learn the bagpipes. Oh, the room is just as full as it was before. Yes, all thanks to the charity shop. It's the best shop in the world. <laughs> Peppa loves the charity shop. Everyone loves the charity shop. Grandpa's Rock Garden. Pepper and George are spending the day at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Hello, my little ones. Look, Granny. This is my fairy princess. Oh, 
Hello, fairy princess. Granny, where is Grandpa Pig? He's down in the garden making something. <laughs> Come and see. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Pig! Grandpa Pig! Hello, Pepper and George. What are you doing? I'm making a rock garden. What is a rock garden? It is a tiny version of a mountain landscape made of just rocks and flowers. Ooh. Nothing is here that wouldn't be on a real mountain. My fairy princess could live there. Oh, that wasn't quite the sort of thing I had in mind. There. Uh, maybe that's not. And Mr. Dinosaur could live there too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. The fairy and the dinosaur can live in the rock garden just for today. Hooray! Now, would you all like to help me find some more rocks? Yes, please. Found <laughs> <laughs> <Bad> one. <laughs> I found a rock too. I say, you're a nice-looking rock. Look, Grandpa, we found rocks. Very good. And look what I found. One of the most unusual rocks I've ever seen. It's all looking very pretty. What else can we add? How about a toy car for the fairy to drive? Uh, maybe not. Or a unicorn for the fairy to ride? Yes, a unicorn would be lovely. No, no, no. I've allowed the castle and the dinosaur, but from now on, just real rocks and flowers. OK, but it could do with some bigger flowers, don't you think? Those look a bit titchy. Well, uh, it's quite early in the year for big flowers. <laughs> Here is Mr Fox in his van. Hello, Granny Pig. What can I sell you today? Well, we do need some flowers for Grandpa's rock garden. Flowers, you say? Lucky I dropped by. I've got flowers like you've never seen before. Here you go. Ooh. Lovely. Do they need any special looking after? No, they're easy to look after. They're plastic. Oh, I don't think Grandpa would like that. He wants real flowers. These are better than real. You can bury them and dig them up in a thousand years and they'll be as good as new. Amazing. And they sing. Wow. Look, Grandpa, we got you flowers. Wow, that big for this time of year. Well done. They will last forever because they are plastic. <coughs> oh. Toy castles, dinosaurs, plastic flowers. At least the rocks are real. <coughs> Maybe I should move this very nice rock I found to the top. Grandpa, your rock is moving. Ah! It's Tiddles. <laughs> Grandpa's rock is Tiddles the tortoise. Oh, my goodness! Tiddles! Tiddles! Here is Dr Hamster. Have you seen my Tiddles? He's run away again. Yes, Grandpa found him. There you are, you naughty little pickle. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. Uh, you're most welcome. Oh, what a lovely rock garden. Yes, it is rather good. And I suppose it doesn't have to be exactly like a real mountain. Grandpa, we didn't show you the best bit. <laughs> Peppa loves rock gardens. Everyone loves rock gardens. <laughs> Weather station. Peppa and her friends are at playgroup today. <laughs> children. Today, we are going to learn about the weather. Ooh. There are all kinds of weather. Sun, rain, wind, snow. I like sunny weather the best. Then we can go to the beach. Oh, yes, Mandy. A sunny day at the beach sounds very nice. I like it when it's windy. Then you can fly a kite. <laughs> yes, it needs to be windy to fly a kite. Anyone else? Madame Gazelle. Yes, Penny Polar Bear? 
I like snow the best. Then we can go sledding. Good. Penny Polar Bear loves snow. Good. Snow is such fun. I like rain. And what do you like about rain, Pepper? Rain makes muddy puddles for jumping up and downing. <laughs> Yes, we do need rain for puddles. Now, as the weather happens outside, today's lesson will be outside. <laughs> Children, look what I've made. What is it? It is our very own weather station. Wow! What does it do? I will show you. At the moment, the sun is shining in the sky. Mandy Mouse, please turn the arrow to point at the sun. OK. The weather station is showing it is sunny. Ooh. And this thermometer has coloured liquid that goes up and down and tells us exactly how sunny and hot it is today. Wow. So, how hot does this Thermo thingy say it is. It says today is um nice and warm. It's getting windy, really windy. Can I move the arrow? Of course, Benny. The weather station is showing it is windy. And to see exactly how windy it is, we have this. It is made of sticks and old plastic cups. Ooh. So how windy does it say it is? It says it is, um, very windy. Ah! It's starting to rain. We're getting wet. Don't worry, children. I have brought the big umbrella. The big umbrella. <laughs> that is a big umbrella. Now we can stay nice and dry and watch the rain. Madame Gazelle, can I move the arrow this time? Of course, Peppa. The weather station is showing rain. Could somebody hold the umbrella for me, please? Thank you. Now we will use this rain bottle. It is made out of an old plastic bottle cut in half. Then put back together like this. There. The rain bottle is filling up with water. Ooh. The rain has stopped. Look, we can see how much it has rained. So how much has it rained? The bottle is full. So that means it has rained, um, a lot. And lots of rain means lots of... Muddy puddles! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what a good day for our weather station. We've had sun, wind and rain. But we didn't have snow. Oh, I think it would be too much to wish for snow as well. Oh, what's that? Snow. <laughs> it has started to snow. That is unbelievable. I'll move the arrow. The weather station is showing snow. I love sun, wind, rain and snow. Peppa <laughs> loves the weather. <laughs> Everyone loves the weather. <laughs> clubhouse adventure. Peppa and her friends are playing in their clubhouse. <laughs> what game should we play today? Let's play adventures. Outside our clubhouse is a forest full of yes, dangerous, yes, yes. wild yes, animals. Yes, yes. I'll email the numbers over later when I've got access to the... The crypt. wild animals are yes, outside. Yes, yes. As long as we stay inside, we are safe. I like this game. <laughs> <laughs> the spreadsheet numbers were copy and pasted from document Daddy! Daddy! Uh, I'll call you back. Someone's asking me something. You have to be a wild animal. Oh, oh. I think I can manage that. You are in a forest. OK. I'll be a wild pig. <laughs> I'm a dangerous wild pig living in the forest. And we are safe in our little house. <laughs> we need more wild animals. Mummy! Yes, Mandy? You have to be a scary animal. Um, OK. I will be a wild mouse. Squeak, 
Squeak! <gasps> Mummy, that's not even a little bit scary. Sorry. Can you growl? Growl? Well, I could have a go, but I'm not sure. Ah! Oh, my goodness, Mummy Polar Bear. You gave me a shock. Grrr. Polar bears like growling. Wow, they are good. My mummies are best at growling. <laughs> Lucky we're safe inside. <laughs> you can't get us. Our house is too strong. What's your house made of? Straw, sticks or brick? Um, it's made of... Plastic? Jolly good. Let's see how strong it is. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. The clubhouse is very strong. Impressive. Yes, Daddy. So you will have to stay outside with the other wild animals. Let's make the game more scary. Yes! We can pretend there's a jungle outside with real jungle animals. We need a jungle animal, like a tiger. Ooh, I can sound like a tiger. Is that any good? No. Well, how about a lion? Stop, Mummy. My friends are here. I can roar. That's really good. Oh, oh, I am a bit of an expert. No one can do a lion better than me. Roar. It is Mr. Lion, the zookeeper. Hello, everyone. Uh, hello, Mr. Lion. Hello. And here is Mrs. Crocodile. Uh, we've had a problem at the zoo. Uh, don't panic, but some animals have escaped. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We heard lots of strange noises coming from here and wondered if the zoo animals had passed this way. Uh, those noises were just us. We were playing at being wild animals. I see. <laughs> we'll be on our way then. Um, these escaped animals you're looking for, what are they? Do they have big teeth? No, they've got beaks. Do they roar? No, they make a sound like... <laughs> It is the penguins from the zoo. Oh, they're so cute. Ah, <laughs> uh, there you are, you cheeky penguins. <laughs> they're always running away. They think having me and Mrs. Crocodile chase after them is a fun game. Hello, penguins. Would you like to see our clubhouse? Here's the slide. And here is our swing. Penguins, do you like our clubhouse? The penguins love the clubhouse. <laughs> Pepper and her friends love the clubhouse. Everyone loves the clubhouse. Detective club. Pepper and her friends are playing in their clubhouse. <laughs> Let's play detectives. This is our detective club and we will solve mysteries. Ooh. We have to find a mystery. Yes, we can use the telephone. Hello? We are important detectives and we need a mystery. They said go outside. But that's a wooden telephone. It doesn't work. We're playing a game, Susie. Ah, oh, OK. <laughs> Daddy, we are a detective club. That sounds lovely. We solve mysteries. Fantastic. Uh. Only problem is, it's actually time for us to go home. Oh, but I want to play some more. You can come back to the clubhouse tomorrow. OK, Daddy. Bye, Peppa. Bye. Bye. Oh, the car's locked. Daddy Pig cannot open the car door. Uh, and I don't seem to have the key. Until I've found my key, we can't go home. Hooray! We can play more. <laughs> Come back to the detective club, Peppa. <laughs> uh, I wonder if your detective club can help me find my key. Yes, that's a real mystery. OK, <laughs> we'll help you, Daddy. Thank you. The key must be somewhere around here. 
If we all crawl around looking on our hands and knees, we might find it. No, we are detectives. We do not crawl around on our hands and knees. I see. We have clever ways to do things. Maybe there's a way to open the car without a key. Um, we could ring the police. Yes, they can open locked cars. Phone the police. This is the police station. Slow day today. If only we had something to do. <sighs> Phone the police? That's brilliant. Uh, only problem is, where have I put my phone? It's in the car. Daddy Pig's phone is locked inside the car. That's not good. <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit. Can I use your phone? Sorry, old chap. I left my phone at home. But looks like there's a phone in the clubhouse. Fantastic. Uh, how do I use this thing? It's a toy phone. It's made of wood. Let me have a go. I do have quite a loud voice. Grumpy Rabbit has the loudest voice in the world. Someone's calling for help! We've got ourselves a job! To the police car! <laughs> Did someone shout for help? Yes! We've got an emergency! What kind of emergency? Flood? Earthquake? Tornado? Um, I'm locked out of my car. Daddy can't drive us home! <laughs> Good thing you called us. That was our idea. Good work, children. We'll take it from here. Daddy Pig, where is your car key? I've lost it. Key is lost. This might sound very silly, but have you looked in all the obvious places, like your pockets? My key! Daddy Pig's key was in his pocket. That's funny. I didn't even know I had pockets. Mystery solved. All thanks to the quick thinking of these young children. We are detectives and this is our clubhouse. Very smart. I wish we had a clubhouse. We do. It's called the police station. Yes, but the police station doesn't have a slide or a swing. Yes, our clubhouse is the best in the whole world. Pepper and her friends love the clubhouse. Everyone loves the clubhouse. Winter games. Today, Pepper and her family are skiing on Snowy Mountain. Which way shall we go? One side of the mountain is a nice, gentle slope. The other side is very, very steep. Well, I certainly don't want to ski down the steep side like I did last time. <laughs> yes, that was quite spectacular. Last year, Mummy Pig skied ah! down the mountain, ah! past the shops, all the way home. Ah! And she won the Winter Games Cup. <laughs> you skied so well, Mummy. Yes, well, I didn't actually mean to do it, so that's not happening again. OK. Let's go this way, then. <laughs> Daddy, Mummy, Pepper and George are skiing down the gentle slope. Here are George's friends, Richard, Edmund, Zuzu and Zaza. George and his friends are skiing together like a long caterpillar. <laughs> Hello, Pepper. It is Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. I love this bit. It's all wibbly-wobbly. <laughs> Here is Mandy Mouse. She has a mono ski. Hello! Hello, Mandy! Look at me go! <laughs> Here is Danny Dog. He is on a snowboard. Hello, everyone! Hi, Danny! Look at me jump! <laughs> wow! You're all skiing so well! Yes, you're almost as good as Mummy and me. Mr Pig, what is your best ski trick? Can you go backwards? Backwards? 
I think that's impossible. Yes, I don't think anyone can ski backwards. Ho, ho. <laughs> Everyone has arrived at the bottom of the slope. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> again, again. Yes, let's get the ski lift. This is the ski lift. It takes everyone to the top again. <laughs> Skiing is my most favourite thing in the whole wide world. Oh, Mandy, I thought your favourite thing was cheese. Ah, uh, yes. Cheese is good too. <laughs> Everyone is back at the top of Snowy Mountain. Now we ski down again. Yay, let's go. <laughs> Since we're all together, it's a great chance to get a photo. But, Mummy, we want to ski down again. Oh, it won't take a moment. Everyone squish together so I can see you all in the picture. That's good. I just need to go back a bit to get you all in. Uh, Mummy Pig, you know you're standing on the edge of the mountain. Yes, yes, good. I can almost see everyone now. There. Big smile, everyone! Whoops! Here we go again. Mummy Pig is skiing down the mountain backwards. Whoa! Quick, everyone, to the rescue! Ah! Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We're right behind you. Mummy Pig is skiing past the shops yeah! all the way home. Mummy's going to hit the house again. <laughs> On to the playground. Oh, Mummy Pig! Mummy skied all the way here backwards. Backwards? That is amazing skiing. Here is the Winter Games Cup again. Oh, thank you. My Mummy's the best at skiing. <laughs> Peppa loves Winter Games. Everyone loves Winter Games. The park. Today, Peppa and her family are at the park. There are so many fun things to do in the park. What shall we start with? Let's go to the little bridge and say hello to the ducks. Quack, quack. Yes, the ducks. Here is the little bridge. Zoe Zebra is here. Hello, Zoe. Hello, Peppa. Oh, where are the ducks? I think they are hiding. Let's call them. Ducks, where are you? Come out now, wherever you are. Here is Mrs Duck. <laughs> Hello, Mrs Duck. Here are the baby ducklings. Ooh. They are so sweet. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Peppa quack, likes talking quack, to ducks. Quack, quack. Everyone likes quack, talking quack, to ducks. What a lot of talking. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's visit the bouncy tree. This is the bouncy tree. Danny Dog is already on it. Hello, Danny. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Ready, steady. Bounce! <laughs> bounce! Bounce! George wants to go. OK, George, I'll lift you on, but I'll keep hold of you. George is a bit too little to bounce on the branch on his own. Ready, steady, steady bounce! <laughs> <laughs> That's enough bouncing for today. See you later. Bye, Danny. So, what's next? I think it's the hopping logs. These are the hopping logs. Susie Sheep is here. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Hello, Susie. Watch me. I can do it without touching the ground. Hooray! <laughs> My go. Oh! Ah! Ah! Oh, I did it! Hooray! <laughs> now it is George's turn. There you go, George. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ooh, it's a big gap, isn't it, George? Would you like some help? 
And One day, when George is big like me, he will be able to do it on his own. <laughs> What's next? It has to be the monkey bars. <laughs> Here are the monkey bars. Candy Cat and Pedro Pony are trying to swing across them. Oof, oof. It is difficult not to let go of the monkey bars. My turn! You just have to swing like a monkey. Look! Ooh. It's easy when you're big and strong like me. Ooh. You're not swinging, you're walking. Ooh. <laughs> cheeky Daddy Pig. <laughs> Daddy is a cheeky monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I certainly am. <laughs> My go! Oh, I can't hold on. Oof! It's impossible! George wants to go. Oh, George, you are too little. Even I can't do it. Hmm, maybe being little might help. <laughs> Hooray! What can we do now? Well, there's one thing in the park that we absolutely have to do. I think I know what that is. Um... It has something to do with your boots. Jumping up and down in muddy puddles! The park has <laughs> lots of muddy puddles for Pepper and her friends to jump in. This is brilliant! Pepper loves the park. Everybody loves the park. 